Ramblers, we are rambling. What's going on, Ramblers? I am on my way to the comic book store. Ooh, need to adjust. And I thought I would share a little something, a little story that happened last night. Kind of interesting. Uh, I want to get your take on it. Ooh, I still, I feel like, are we in Batman mode? So last night, okay, backstory. Uh, Liz and I recently moved. We, I, I lived in this one apartment building, or that actually it's the same building, huge complex. Uh, but I lived in the same unit for like four or five years, and then Liz and I together for about a year. And we moved to a new unit uh, a couple weeks ago, maybe about a month, month and a half ago. And right from the very first day, because we have new neighbors now, we have new upstairs neighbors, of course. And right from the very first day, we've been having issues with our new neighbors. Um, basically, to, to sum it up, they keep finding ways to put their shit into our backyard. Their trash, whatever. Uh, <clears throat> on the on the very first day, Liz comes. She was in the backyard, and she comes into the house she's like, David, there's a there's a whole bunch of cigarette butts out there, and you know this is a brand new apartment, so we know that. And then that first weekend, that very first weekend, they had this huge party right above our heads, going on until two, three in the morning. Loud music, people running around all hardwood floors. Can you imagine hardwood floors on a party? <laughs> Oh my God, we were so happy to get hardwood floors. We're like, great, no more stained carpets with the dogs. And then lo and behold, boom, uh, we get this nonsense. Uh, but the but the main issue, well, they're just inconsiderate. They're just, it just seems like they're really inconsiderate. Because uh, like I said, they're, they're very loud. Uh, they'll play music super, super loud. But as I mentioned, they've also got this issue with, you know, putting, putting their trash in our backyard. The very first weekend, like I mentioned, we had the cigarette butts. That the night of the party, two soccer balls. <laughs> two, how does a soccer ball, let alone two of them, get into our into? Look, our apartment has the the, the the balcony. There's a wall. There's a fence. You have to actually get it up and over the balcony. I don't know how they do it, but they got two soccer balls over uh, our 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 fence, and uh, I don't know two or three of those you know those plastic solo cups that you use for drinking beers out of like, let's say, I don't know, like a keg or something like that. Maybe they got a keg. Anyway, um, a, uh, a few of those, a few of those solo cups, who knows how many cigarette butts, tons. Uh, and then, and then just last week, you know, we let it go. Here's the thing. We let it go because we didn't want to be that, that couple that just moves into an apartment and then immediately right away, they're like, you guys suck. Uh, <laughs> and being those complaining neighbors, right? So we're like, okay, maybe they're just, maybe the place was vacant for a while and they got used to not, you know, having a neighbor downstairs. And that still may be the case. I'm not sure. Uh, but in any case, um, so we let it go. We didn't really worry about it. We haven't complained about the noise. We haven't complained about the parties. We haven't complained about the trash. We haven't complained about anything. And then last week, about a week ago, Liz is out in the backyard. I'm driving, <laughs> and she literally, a cigarette butt lands at her feet. And so she comes in and gets me. She's like, "David, they just, they just put their their butt in our backyard, like just now." So it wasn't in one of those situations where maybe it was there from before. And the guy, whoever it was, was still on the balcony. So I said, "Excuse me, uh, you know, you just, you just put your cigarette butt in my backyard. Could you guys maybe not put?" your crap in our backyard and I and I said it in such a way as to infer that there was other stuff and they knew it <laughs> you know they never they never asked for the soccer balls back they never you know how, like if it's something I've had neighbors before with stuff lands in my backyard and I've had my stuff land in the, my neighbor's backyard before you politely go over there and you ask them can I have my ball back please and they're like yeah sure and they'll go get it and give it to you or whatever never they just left it there and we left it right where they <laughs> we never touched the soccer ball so we all know that there's a giant elephant slash soccer ball in the room. Uh, they never asked us for the balls back. So I said, look, you guys are putting your cigarettes out in our backyard, please stop it. And uh, there, I think that there's maybe a, a language barrier here because the first person we talked to went and got somebody else uh, as if to say maybe they don't understand English. I'm not sure. Uh, so so, so, so uh, another person, there's like a whole family. There's a... Uh, a couple, like a young couple, at least one or two kids, and, a, and a, maybe a mom, I'm not sure who, but there's like five people living up there in a two-bedroom apartment. Um, so she, uh, she brings somebody else out, she goes, yeah, you know, we're sorry, it was a, it was an accident. All right, 
you accidentally <laughs> just try. But I said, how can it? There's like six of them back here. That's a lot of accidents. What's up? And uh, you know, she just okay. Well, you know, we'll we, we'll be careful or whatever. Oh boy, that was close. Um, and I'm like, okay, cool, thanks. Just don't put your, you know, because then I mentioned, by the way, there's the, the whole uh, solo cup things. There was an orange peel, a half-eaten orange, uh, resting in our backyard as well. I know it's not my orange. I I don't eat oranges. Nobody, we don't even have any oranges. And like, what's up with this orange? Just keep your shit out of our backyard, please. And they're, you know, somewhat apologetic, I guess. That was a week ago. So last night, long story. <laughs> last night, I'm out. Uh, with the dog, letting the dog go to the bathroom. He likes to poop out in the backyard and no sweat. I, I'm down with that. And I'm chilling there and I'm sitting underneath the balcony. I'm just kind of, you know, leaned up uh, on my phone, uh, playing solitaire on my phone while the dog does his business. And, uh, and I'm leaned up against the, you know, the support thing or whatever. And I hear this whimper and it's, it's a little dog. It's a little dog with his nose, his snout, underneath the the, um, the balcony, and he's whimpering because he sees he sees my dog, and you know he wants to play. I think he wants to because it wasn't like a cry. It was just like, oh, I want to play with your dog. And I looked up, and I thought, well, that's really cute. You know what a cute little dog. And I look up, and then all of a sudden, bam, a freaking <laughs> ceramic flower pot hits me inches from hitting me square on the head, straight out of a cartoon. But it just missed me and landed on my arm, uh, and it hit my whole arm. You know, and I'm talking about like a legit flower, here it is, these are the broken pieces. A legit flower pot, ceramic flower pot, those heavy things landed on me. A flower pot just lands on me hard, and I look up and there's this, my neighbor looking out over the rail, over the balcony rail, just bewildered, like confused. <laughs> It was the most bizarre reaction. I guess that's why I'm telling this story. It's not so much that I got hit. I want, I keep wanting to say in the head. I mean, it was. It just missed my head. But just think of like a cartoon where a, a dude's walking around, doop 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 doo, -doo minding his business, and a flower plot land. It's just. It's so comical. Um, <laughs> she looks bewildered, and I, I, I'm like, I'm really upset, and I'm like, well, what the hell? Why did you just drop a flower pot on me? And she kind of. Like I said, he had this bewildered look, and I think she might have said, I'm sorry, which, you know, I appreciate. But what was worse is that <clears throat> I said, you know, what what the, what the heck? Why? That really hurt. Why did you, what, what, what was that all about? And she didn't say anything. She said, I'm sorry, and I think she said, you scared me. Again, understandable. But can we have a conversation about this for a second, please? Because that's not what happened. What happened was she said those two things and I, I, I'm just waiting for her to acknowledge the situation a little bit and she just walked back into the house. She turned around and went back in the apartment. And I, I'm just like, I am, I am doubly befuddled now at this point. Uh, I am, I'm beyond WTF. And I, I don't know what to do. I mean, like I said, obviously, you know, her English probably isn't that great, uh, but they have, they, they sent somebody else out before when, when they had the cigarette issue, and I know that they were home. I know she wasn't home alone because I can hear them all the freaking time. I know how, like, usually I can tell how many people are in the house, what they're listening to, and what they're having for dinner. Uh, <laughs> but, and so I don't, that's my question is like, what do I do at this juncture? Because, I mean, I could go up there and knock on her door and say, you know, what the hell, but I am positive I'm not going to get any kind of satisfaction or, you know, just any sort of like, I, I don't know if I'm trying to like extract a pound of flesh from her or, or what. Just, just something more than a feeble "I'm sorry" or something, because that's what I would do if I had accidentally. I hope it was an accident, at least, because it sure didn't. It was strange, but if I had accidentally dropped a flower pot on somebody's head, I might, <laughs> I might say a little bit more than "I'm sorry." I might. I mean, I would be begging for forgiveness. I would be profusely sorry. I would just be like, oh my gosh, are you okay? Is there, can, can, let me come down there. Can I buy you a drink or I don't, I mean, I'll be, buy you a drink. That's kind of stupid, but I mean, can, what, what is it that I could do to make this better for you? Because I am an idiot and I hit you in the head with a flower pot. Uh, that's a, <laughs> 
It's not like she hit me with a glass or, you know what I mean? Or like a cup. It was a flower pot. I didn't get that. And I don't, like I said, I, you know what? I, I could complain and I thought about it. We've never done that because I don't want to, again, I don't want to be that kind of person. I, I, I like to, you know, say something to the person first before I could play, let's say, to the, to the apartment building, to the management, or or in the case of like partying at night at three in the morning to call the cops, because obviously I can't call management to tell them to stop. I would have to call the cops. But for, in the most cases, you know, it's, it's, it's never gotten so bad that uh, I had to do that. And I, I'm, I'm bordering on it now because like I said, this is now, I don't know, the, the fifth incident with them uh, of varying degrees. What would you do in this situation, you guys? What would you do? Would you, first of all, if somebody dropped a flower pot in your head, would you be pissed? Would you be upset? Knowing that it takes a special kind of asshole or a special kind of bitch or whatever you want to call it to do that on purpose. Um, I don't imagine that that's the case here. I don't I don't think so, even though they are careless and not exactly considerate of of their neighbors because of all the, you know, the, the complaints like I mentioned, but I, I don't think that they're at that, that level yet. Um, but would you be pissed? And if, if you were pissed, would you go upstairs and would you try to confront them about it? Because I don't know that's going to be any, you know, any big deal. Here's the thing. One of the reasons why uh, I feel like I'm a, a happier than the average person, like I have a, a, a fairly carefree attitude about life and I, I'm well adjusted and I don't get super angry, even though I have a I have a capacity for anger. I have the ability to get angry, but it's more like Hulk. You know, you really gotta like, I, I, I Hulk out and then I, I, I just blow up. Um, but you know, up until then, I'm usually pretty calm, pretty chill. Uh, but one of the reasons why I'm like that, or I'm able to do that is because I have an expert capacity for uh, acceptance for just letting things go and just saying, you know what, it's not a big deal. There's a few things in my life that I really, really care about. Uh, and the rest of them, I, I don't, whatever, you know, it's, it is what it is. So, uh, you know, I can let a lot of things go. I come to accept a lot of things in my life and, and it's, it's nice to know that you don't have to worry. Like, it, you know, your, your head isn't just brimming with, with anxiety over issue after issue. So I can let things go. I can let this go. And I probably will, uh, because like I said, what, what, what's going to happen? <laughs> what's going to happen to me if I play, as they say in, in AA, not that I am, you know, an alcoholic, but I am familiar with the terms and I'm familiar with the program for reasons that I won't get into. But, uh, as they say in AA, play the tapes, see the future, play it out in your head. What's going to happen? I'm going to go upstairs. I'm going to knock on the door and I'm going to knock on the door really hard. And I'm going to say, what the actual hell did you just do? Why did you do that? And then they're going to say, what are they going to say? What did I already get? I'm sorry. That's all I'm going to get. Now, is that enough? I don't know. Do I, do, like I said, do I want to get that pound of flesh? I have no idea. So what is the actual point? What is the actual point of even going up there if I already know what I'm going to get? And I've, cause I've already gotten it. I've gotten the max that I'm going to get out of them. Right? So that's, that's the acceptance. What would you do? You guys, if you, if this happened to you, would you be pissed? And would you go up there? seeking some kind of revenge, uh, some kind of explanation, some kind of apology. You want them to give you a 50 bucks for your, <laughs> for your pain and suffering. <laughs> cause I, I was actually literally bruised. It was so funny. I went to the, cause Liz was in the shower when this happened and I went to the room and, uh, I'm like, you will not believe what just happened while you were in the shower. And I, and I, cause I got, you know, I was telling her that the, the, the She's like, oh, you poor baby. <laughs> it doesn't, I, I, when you tell the story, it doesn't seem like a big deal, but I promise you, if it happened to you, you would be WTFing. I'm, I'm almost positive. Um, so I, what do you think, you guys? I mean, it's, it's already been a day, and uh, you know, I already feel like I've let it go, but you know, do I, do, is my radar up now? Do I, do I have to be like super you know, sensitive to any further issues that come up and I really let them have it. Do I complain to management? I don't know, man. I don't know. I just felt like sharing this story with you guys and seeing what you would do. So ramblers, what do you think?